Uh, welcome back students uh, to this third lecture on uh, uh, dual nature of radiation and matter okay so uh, if we just recap uh, like the main thing uh, uh, in this lecture we'll be discussing about uh, the observations made in photoelectric effect okay and uh, uh, compared to the what happened last time that we had discussed two very important points first important point okay just go through the video once again uh, you will uh, understand it more clearly so in the first section in the main observation which we saw that there is a minimum frequency which is known as threshold frequency so if the incident light has a radiation more than this threshold frequency then only we see photoelectric emission otherwise whatever may be the intensity so basically intensity means uh, you are increasing the number of uh, photons increasing the photons means uh, you are basically uh, creating more and more light energy so light energy is not that important as compared to the frequency of the light so in the last section uh, i the most important thing which uh, has to be understood was that there is a minimum frequency which is known as the threshold frequency so the first observation in photoelectric emission is that there is a minimum frequency which is known as threshold frequency and if i multiply this threshold frequency with h into mu naught okay where mu naught is a threshold frequency we have this work function work function is basically an energy itself okay so this is the energy or the minimum energy required to liberate the electron from the surface of the metal then next we saw that uh, from the simulation itself that as the uh, intensity of light increases there was a continuous increase in the photo current this was the second observation now uh, here we'll continue the same experiment and again we'll see the setup over here okay so if you see this particular setup over here what we are going to trying to see is what happens to the potential okay or what is the effect of potential on photoelectric effect now if you see this graph over here okay now this graph here if i just uh, I, uh, take this graph over here right now you can see here this graph over this side it's a collector plate potential which is in the positive direction okay whereas here the collector plate potential is in the negative direction so what it means is when uh, if you see this a here a is the collector plate this collector plate can have a positive potential this collector plate a can have a, a negative potential okay so uh, what this graph basically it is now photo current photo current we measure it by this microammeter over here as you can see here okay so what is the effect of potential like what happens if i go on increasing the positive potential what happens if i go on decreasing the potential that is i am making the this plate negatively potential okay so uh, important observation is if you see over here i1 i2 i3 these are the intensities of light okay so if i go on increasing the potential of the positive plate towards this side what was observed was initially the photo current goes on increasing and then it becomes almost flat okay now flat basically it means it the photo current has reached its saturation value right now you can see here after once it has reached the saturation value whatever may be the positive potential the photo current almost remains same for given i1 here so this graph has to be understood very 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 clearly that there are three parts in this graph one part is you have this potential here second part is this photo current and these are actually three graphs for three different situations which are the three different situations when intensity is i1 second time intensity is i2 third time the intensity of light is i3 so i3 is greater than i2 is greater than that means i am continuously going on increasing this intensity okay so what is it from where this intensity can be increased from this source over here okay so what i what i am doing in the experiment now the potential of this plate a 
I am taking towards positive side and then I am taking the potential towards it towards which side negative side what what difference it makes when the potential of positive plate a is positive it will attract the electrons and these electrons will slowly start moving and then you have this photo current over here what happens if this plate is negative when the plate is negative what will happen these electrons they will basically be repelled if the plate is negative what we, what we will basically see that these electrons over here these electrons will be repelled backwards now as i start say uh, first of all we'll see the positive part so what we saw that initially even if the potential is zero there is a photo current okay now as i start increasing the photo current basically goes on increasing and it reaches a saturation value i increase the intensity of light the saturation value increased i further increase the light saturation value has increased saturation value basically means now that even if i increase the potential more further the current i1 i2 i3 are not going to the values of them will have reached their maximum uh, potential okay now from zero if i start going negative side so negative side of this plate a it basically means that i am now going in a position where the electrons are going to be repelled so what i do i start increasing this potential in which direction backward direction and what we see that the photo current here shows a reduced reading and at one particular point the photo current completely becomes zero so what is the potential so we have a very important term here stopping potential so in examinations they may ask, they ask this question define stopping potential so it is the negative potential on the collector plate so that the photo current it's a minimum negative potential after that whatever is the negative potential photo current is going to be zero it is at the negative potential so as you can see over here that this is the minimum negative potential that the photo current completely becomes zero now if i just uh, go through uh, we'll just see how exactly if i just take this uh, 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 just see this diagram over here now what i am doing here is can you see this power supply over here now if i just increase this voltage from this side this power supply here this this is the plate a which we were discussing this plate a will sl slowly become negative and just see this ammeter reading over here what happens to this ammeter reading so just see as i am increasing the voltage uh, it is towards negative side please remember see as i am increasing the voltage okay see here if i increase the voltage see here. as i start increasing this voltage you have these electrons which are falling can you see the photo current over here the photo current continuously goes on decreasing as i increase this particular uh, voltage over here now what this basically means is that this uh, because this plate is negative it is repelling the electrons it's not allowing the electrons to go see what was happening when the elect potential is almost zero these electrons were flowing and there was a current over here okay if i increase the photo density more and more the current you can see the current increases but what we are observing here is that if i increase this negative potential of the plate a here slowly what happens these electrons which you can see over here at a per, now put a negative potential is there but see at this point what happens they are slowly getting repelled completely stopped none none of the electrons are basically moving towards this collector plate so this potential or the minimum potential uh, the minimum potential can you see this over here the minimum potential at which the photo current completely becomes zero this potential is known as the stopping potential now what is this uh if i just go back to this definition of stopping potential so 
see the definition for a particular frequency of incident ray the minimum negative potential v not given to the collector plate so that the photo current stops or becomes zero is known as stopping potential so what is the importance of this stopping potential now we will just come back to this equation stopping potential has a significance that a very important significance see you cannot measure the you cannot see the electron first of all next important thing is you cannot see with what speed they are going there is no chance that you can see so what is this stopping potential it's an indirect way of finding the kinetic energy of the electrons you cannot uh, you, you can see a truck which is moving with a particular velocity you can calculate the velocity but an electron moving how, how do you calculate the velocity there is no way so what what is the indirect way of finding the kinetic energy of the electron you see the stopping potential and kinetic energy is given by charge of the electron e into the stopping potential that is v naught this formula is very important that kinetic energy is equal to e into v naught e is the stop uh, is the charge of the electron into v naught so indirectly if i say that stopping potential is more what it basically means that the electron is having more kinetic energy if i say that the stopping potential is less it indirectly means that the electron has less energy it is something that a person say uh, it's something a uh, similar example that if you uh, to catch a ball a cricket ball say if it is a, if a cricket ball is thrown towards you if it is coming with very less speed you can very easily catch it if it is coming at very high speed you have to apply same amount of energy in order to stop it so what this potential is doing it is giving the same amount of energy as the energy of the electron in order to stop it so indi indirectly the if you understand this particular my statement that the stopping potential is a indirect measure of the kinetic energy and what is the formula here kinetic energy is given by e v not it's a very important uh, formula which you should understand so uh, this graph over here what it tells us that stopping potential for a given frequency does not depend on intensity that whatever may be the intensity of light so here in this uh, particular part effect of potential on photoelectric effect if the, you see this particular graph if you want to understand this graph the important thing is that in this graph the frequency is kept constant okay and what is happening now as i keep this frequency constant the stopping potential also remains constant whatever may be the intensity hence this point has to be understood by you very very clearly that stopping potential it first of all gives the kinetic energy second important thing is that this kinetic energy that means when the light falls on the emitter plate or the photosensitive plate it uh, this electrons come out with certain velocity hence they have certain kinetic energy this kinetic energy only depends on the frequency it doesn't depend on the intensity of light so this is very important point which you must and should understand here and keep in mind and that is why we get this formula if it would have changed with intensity then we would have got different stopping uh, stopping potentials okay which basically is not happening over here as you can see that if i go on changing the like intensities are changed but stopping potential remains same it basically means that whatever may be the intensity of light the electrons are coming with the same velocity or indirectly same kinetic energy okay then uh we'll see another example or another important graph is effect of frequency on stopping potential what it basically means that what happens to the stopping potential if i go on increasing the frequency of the incident light and if you see the graph here we have uh, basically assumed that so if you see this particular graph over here i have assumed a simple thing that the photo current here or this uh, intensity is i have kept constant okay now mu1 mu2 mu3 here they are the frequencies of the incident light in the increasing order that means 
mu3 is greater than mu2 mu2 is greater than mu1 what happens uh, as the frequency increases we see that for a given intensity the stopping potential also increases that means you have to apply more and more negative potential to stop the electrons as the frequency goes on increasing a very very important point here is that it means if you increase the frequency the electrons which are coming out they are coming out with more and more velocity so minus v01 minus v02 minus v03 basically increases that the, you have to apply more and more negative stopping potential to increase the frequency as to, as, as, so to basically stop the electron okay so uh, if you just see the uh, app over here okay so what i'll do in this particular app here, here is that say for example i just start increasing the okay so you can see here i can just uh, change the frequency okay first of all i'll take the stopping potential very less okay now you can see electrons are coming i'll keep this frequency over here at this particular point the electrons are moving okay now what i'll do i'll start increasing the stopping potential see there is a current over here i'll further increase the stop, uh, stopping potential okay electrons have basically somewhere at this point the electrons have stopped okay see at this particular so this is the line which shows frequency if i am going towards this side uh, basically the frequency increases if i come towards this side the frequency decreases so somewhere at this point the electrons are almost you can see this emitter reading over here they are getting stopped now what happens if i increase the frequency just see can you see if i increase the frequency now the electrons are moving so i have to stop the electrons so I, what i'll do i'll just increase the stopping potential so now i have increased the frequency stopping potential also has increased to say minus uh, 1.19 you can see the stopping potential if i further increase the frequency can you see there is a photo current then if i want to stop it i will have to further increase this stopping potential so see now still there is a current and now i think almost yeah at this particular point the at 1.6 so when i was moving this side what i was doing i was increasing the frequency of radiation and what i observed here was that if i increase the frequency of radiation the stopping potential also increases so again we'll go back to the same uh, graph over here that if the frequency is increased the stopping potential also increases what was the earlier graph in the earlier graph i did not increase the frequency i kept the frequency same but i increased the intensity but what was happening if i keep frequency same the intensity increasing it doesn't make any difference on the stopping potential but this graph what it tells me that if i start increasing the frequency intensity of uh, may change or no it doesn't that much depend but surely if i increase the frequency stopping potential also has to increase so from this equation that stopping potential indirectly tells us the kinetic energy we can surely deduce that more the frequency of light incident on the metal plate we see that more and more will be the kinetic energy of the electrons so again if i just recap the point still now the first point which we discussed was on this that what were the observations the first observation is that there is a minimum threshold frequency and this threshold uh, frequency changes from metal to metal surface to surface and minimum uh, energy is given by w is equal to h mu naught then next we saw that if the frequency is already above threshold frequency what happens if i increase the intensity of light if i increase the intensity of light photo current goes on increasing so this was observed uh, this we had already discussed in lecture 2 then today in this particular lecture uh, what we have observed here is that 
if i increase the intensity keeping the frequency same the stopping potential always remains same so stopping potential is not the function of intensity stopping potential is the indirect function of which of which one uh, frequency then if i go to the next graph which we saw here that in this graph i increase the frequency mu3 is greater than mu2 is greater than mu1 i have increased the frequency and we, what we observe stopping potential also goes on increasing and then if you see one more graph over here for every metal surface this is a graph of stopping potential with frequency first of all you can see this graph starts from some point here mu0 and mu0 dash what must be the meaning of this graph the meaning of this graph is that uh below a certain frequency there won't be any photoelectric emission hence there is no no requirement of any stopping potential because once electrons itself are not coming there is no uh, no requirement of stopping potential now above the threshold frequency mu not for metal a example we get this type of graph what it means stopping potential linearly changes with frequency please remember stopping potential linearly changes so when you get a straight line in mathematics whenever you get a straight line like y equal to mx it basically means y is proportional to m in the same in the same case over here it basically means that stopping potential v not is directly proportional to frequency if i change the metal stopping potential value the in minimum threshold frequency will change but if you see the slope of these two lines very 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 important thing here which later on will be very useful if you see the slope of these two lines both are inclined at the same angle with respect to the uh, frequency axis or the x axis what does this mean it basically means that their slope is the same and later on uh, we will interpret this particular observation that what must be the thing or what is the thing which decides the slope for a given photoelectric emission right so if the question is asked it's a very important standard question apart from this another important thing uh, which i would like to discuss about the stopping potential is photoelectric emission is a instantaneous process right so what do i mean by this word instantaneous process instantaneous process is it the moment the elect, uh, the incident radiation falls on the metal immediately without any delay in time maybe in 10 raised to minus 9 seconds the electrons are ejected so these are the important points which basically were observed in photoelectric emission so normally a 5 mark question is asked if you see earlier question papers a 5 mark uh, uh, this question is asked mention the observations in photoelectric emission so in those five marks the first point which you will measure is about or the first thing you will tell is about this uh, point that photoelectric emission is an instantaneous process the second important point uh, you will be uh, writing over there is that about this threshold frequency that there is a minimum frequency which is known as threshold frequency and then work function is given by that uh, by w is equal to h mu naught then third important thing which you will have to answer the third point in the answer because it is a five mark question the third point will be this graph that photo electrons are directly proportional to the intensity okay then the fourth point uh, you will discuss or you'll have to pl plot this graph over here is that uh, if the intensity is increased the stopping potential remains the same for a given frequency then the next point you will have to we will be discussing about this graph over here which says that as the frequency is increased the stopping potential also increases it means stopping potential is directly proportional to frequency and then this sixth point so if you draw these uh, three four important three four important graphs then you mention about instantaneous process then you mention about the 
uh, threshold frequency then I am sure that you should get 5 out of 5 in this particular question okay so these are the five important observations in a simple thing that stopping potential is directly proportional to frequency kinetic energy is directly proportional to frequency then below a threshold frequency which is called as uh, yeah the big, uh, uh, there is no photoelectron emission and photoelectron emission is an instantaneous process with the earlier graphs that is how you have to explain this okay so with this uh, we conclude today's uh, third lecture on observations on photoelectric emission uh, thank you